Okay, we're going to go on. So now we're going to show you how to turn your legs out properly and your feet, because in ballet dancing, we do it all turned out as much as we can. However, you have to just work with what you have. You know, you're going to use the body you've got because that's it, all right? So you're standing at the bar like this. And again, I'm always, you see what I'm doing? I'm just making sure I'm not sitting back on my heel. I'm always the number one. And you can do this as much as you like, right, to steady yourself. This is good. Shoulders down. All right, so we're nice and, and we say square to the bar. So you want to think your shoulders and your hips are always parallel to the bar especially in all these beginning exercises that we learn to keep this lined up to the bar so then you can work your legs properly. All right, so we're going to begin like this. This is your left leg, all right? I'm your mirror image. So on this leg, we're going to begin. We're going to extend this leg and push it out. If I push to my heel, my leg is straight. This is what it feels like to have a straight leg, okay? Now I'm going to turn the leg out. I'm going to rotate in the hip socket, try not to move here, and I'm going to put it down. So this leg is turned out. Okay, now we have to do the other leg. So I'm going to push this one out and turn it out. Now this here is very important because <clears throat> I don't want you to bend your knee. I don't want you to think you have to put your heels together. So if I just keep my leg straight like that and put it down, that's where it ends up. And as you can see, my heels are apart because of the shape of my legs. All right? And you have to learn to work with, you know, with your legs as they are. And that's fine. So you're turned out. And if you look at your feet, this is your first position. So if, if I try to bring my heels, see, as soon as I do this, I feel pressure in my knee joint. I'm forcing this position. This position is not natural to the way I'm built. So if you feel that, don't do it, because you must work without hurting yourself. So again, this is the first position. This is your turn out, your number one. Now, the next very, very important point we're going to make is that we're going to make a plie, a demi-plie. Because in ballet dancing, usually we begin and we end our movements with knees bent and then they straight because otherwise we can't move. You can't move on straight legs all the time. However, when you do this plie, and I call this plie, I say it's almost isometric. If it were truly isometric, you wouldn't move at all. But I call it almost isometric because if you look at my legs, you'll see that my knees are moving, are bending, but I'm not bending my knees. So then how are they moving? It's because my feet my toes are clawing the floor and gripping. And at this moment, I feel the toe, the foot, the ankle, the knee. I'm connected to the hip, the muscles in the leg. So this is your half plie, your demi plie, all right? Then to come out of the plie, we change the idea. Now I want you to release your foot, spread your toes, a nice big flat foot. And then slowly, if you push down, you're going to stand with your legs straight. So there are several points here, again, which is that when you make a plie, try not to think about making a position. But how are you going to get into that plie? How? That's the dancing part, okay? Dancing is movement. Movement needs muscle. So again, I'm, number one, I'm trying to keep myself up here. So if you can get in front of the mirror, you can see your eye level, right? Your chest level, your hips. So you're beginning with your toes. Once again, you see my knees moving, and I'm not bending my knees. My feet are gripping and pulling. And you're going to have four counts to do this slowly. Then you change the idea now, OK? Release the foot, spread your toes, and then just slowly push down. Remember, pushing down makes you go up. And once again, when I stand here, I'm not going to straighten my legs. I'm not going to lock my knees. I'm not going to sit back on my heels. All I want to sense is that my weight is going through my leg bones to my toes. So that's what you want to be concerned with. Not so much how you look, but where is your weight and where is your balance. So after you do two of those plies, you're going to put your feet together, and then you're going to push down and rise. So if you push, you're going to go up. Okay, do the half toe, and then you can just bring your arms to the middle first, take a balance, put your hands on the bar, and then you're gonna come down. Okay, so we're gonna go on and give you another tip, very important, you're not gonna find this in any ballet book, about how you should really be using your feet when you make your plea. So Sachika, would you take off your, your shoe so we can see her barefoot? Because you really want to try to get a good idea that your feet can't be lazy. You know, I think George Balanchine was a very famous choreographer, he said that your feet have to be like moles. You know, moles are underground. They, they can't see, but they have to know where to go. So your feet have to become very sensitive and very strong. Well, they won't be unless you, you work them. 
So when you begin the plie, here she is standing. Again, what I'm talking about, that the toes have to claw the floor, like, you know, see if I'm doing this. But what you're doing really, like you're trying to pick up the floor. So if you begin from the toe, it starts to go to here. Then you're going to start to do there, and that is what is moving your knee. So here's another tip. What we don't want you to do and misunderstand is I don't want you to scrunch your toes like that, which does, really does nothing. You're pulling the floor, but you can't really move your leg from that, so just relax again. So be careful. I'm not asking you to, to do this, okay, to scrunch that way and pull, but what we want to do is show, show Sachiko that you're going to do the from the toe. So this is how we want you to begin your plie. So the toes are clawing and to engage the muscles in the foot and you're thinking you have to wait till you feel it in your ankle and to your knee and then that's enough. Then you're going to release it, spread your toes and push to come back. And then you can rest your foot when you're just standing like that. So once again when you start the difference is here's the foot natural, it's relaxed. Right? So the toes claw and grip, and as you can see, it's going to start to pull the instep up. So you wait until you feel the energy, the muscles working, and that's why your knee bends. And this takes practice to do this because most people are just not aware of their feet at all, right? So then you come out of the pie, you change the idea, spread your toe, and slowly pushing down. And then you make sure again that the weight of your body comes out through your toes into the floor. So we're always beginning and ending with the toes. And this will strengthen your foot and protect it at the same time and help you to dance much better. Okay, here we go. You ready? One, two, three, and grip. One, Two, three, now from the tips of your toes, slowly, one, wait, two, three, now release your foot, push, two, it's all slow motion from your toes, one, and heads up, up, is this, even slower, 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 and push, two, now you put the feet parallel, bring your hips forward, push down, so you're on relevé, you're on half toe or demi point. Hands on the bar, we're going to start again. And push it out. So you only use a turn out that comes from your hip. Don't try to force the foot. All right. So we're not in any hurry, it's not how low you go, it's from your toe. Slowly, slowly. You dance with your feet, slow, slow. Release it, push it. You have to get those two ideas working. This is from the floor, from your toes, slow, slow, slow. And release the foot, and this is push, 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 and hips forward, push down over the toe, ears back. You're always in number one. Number one, good, and rest. You can just take your hand off the bar. Just Always stand by yourself afterwards. Good. Just like that. Good.